What's up, YouTubers? This is Lo. And today, um, today's topic is gonna be a bit different. Um, I'm gonna be talking about why I chose to buy an automatic Celica GTS. Now, for those of you that comment, why am I modifying uh, automatic Celica GTS and saying that it's a waste of time and money that's automatic? Let me just say this. <laughs> it's my car. I could do whatever the hell I want with it, okay? And yeah, just, it's my car. Don't, if you don't like it, don't don't subscribe to the channel, you know? And I'm not trying to be a bad person here, mean, you know? I'm not gonna call out anyone, but you guys know who you guys are. Um, basically, back back in um, back in November, um, I was I got surgery for um, tendon reconstruction on my left knee, and basically, I got my um, my ligaments had stretched because I I um, slipped. I slipped. My ligaments stretched. And I guess they told me that one of my tendons tore. And so I had to get my tendon reconstructed on my left knee. So me owning a Corolla XRS before the Celica, yeah, I, I, own, I owned my Corolla XRS before the Celica. And so they told me, oh, you're gonna be on a full leg cast from the top of your leg to the bottom of your leg. Full leg cast for two months. And school was about to start maybe in like two weeks. So I told myself, how am I gonna get to class? How am I gonna get to school? Both my parents work, both my sisters go to, one sister goes to work, one sister still goes to school. So no one's gonna be able to take me to, to, to class, to school. So I don't know what I was gonna do. I really didn't know. I, I, I only had my manual Corolla and I was like, how am I gonna get to class? You know, it's, it's really annoying. So, um, I didn't worry about it till after the surgery. I didn't. I didn't care f about buying the car till after the surgery. So, after the surgery, it's around Christmas time. You know, I'm enjoying my. I'm enjoying that I'm alive. <laughs> that I made it out of the surgery, and just enjoying my time with my family, my parents. You know, it's always. It's always gonna be. Hang it's always gonna be with the family in the holidays. So. I, my mind wasn't my mind wasn't too worried about the car situation until like maybe maybe like three days three days before classes classes were about to start I started like oh shit what am I gonna buy so um so at first I was thinking I was actually thinking about just getting another Corolla I was thinking about getting just another Corolla uh, I was thinking about getting like a 2003 automatic Corolla and I first hop into my um, XRS. I first went inside my XRS to see if I was gonna, you know, fit like fit with my full leg cast. And it was really uncomfortable. I, my, my leg was, I, have to, I had to have, basically had to have my leg stretched out like long ways. I couldn't fold it at all. So right now in the Corolla, I'm sitting like this, basically like, like this. My leg is like this. On the Celica, it's like this. I'm like, it's almost completely um, out. So, with that being said, I was like, well, I think I'm gonna get a, a Celica. I, I had tested, I had, I had, um, I had hopped into a Celica before while I was on the leg cast, and I noticed that, oh, look, I got a, a good amount of a leg room to get on this, to, and, ride comfortably this comfortably the Celica so I, I made my decision okay let's go look for let's go look for a Celica and at first I was thinking about getting just a GT uh, I wasn't I didn't even care like I was I was actually just thinking about just getting a 2000 to 2002 oil burner GT and just resell it back but obviously that didn't, that didn't work out because I found a 2004 um, Celica GTS with OEM HIDs and basically completely stock. But the thing is, I bought this Celica from like the most ghettoist car lot. I think it was like a repo car lot where they have nothing but repos because 
they made me fill out a bunch of forms that I guess the uh, vehicle repossession from the previous owner and stuff like that. Like I was filling out all these forms that I had no idea what the hell, what the hell they were about. It was all repo repo forms, and so I I ended up paying um, twenty two hundred for the Celica GTS, and it had about uh. I think it was at around 150,000 miles. Yeah, and it was it's automatic. Boo hoo, go cry it out. I don't care. It was automatic. And what else? I, I bought it. And basically, I was going with my own, with my life. Um, I was able to get, a, I was able to move around. I had my, my handicap placard. I still got my handicap placard right here. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I miss using this thing. Ah. <laughs> I miss using that thing. No one would scratch the cars. Man, no one would scratch your cars. All my cars are getting scratched out. Even the green Celica is getting scratched with fucking parking lots, dude. People just have no respect. Anyways, I was on a full leg cast for two months. And even when I was off the leg cast, I was still on a metal brace, a removable metal brace, for like three months. That's how bad my situation was. No one, no one, no one um, understood what was going on. Like, like, yo, I'm really fucked up. I'm really hurt. Okay, I need to buy this this automatic car. People were like, oh, you're just wasting money. You don't need the car. Like, no, I'm serious. I can't drive my XRS. I my leg has no no um give room no stretch room to push the clutch all the way in there it was just impossible i couldn't do that so the celica gts turned out to be a really good car i loved it love the way it ran it actually has more power and more little bit of torque than the xrs obviously because of the different tune uh, the xr has the xrs has more of a city friendly tune and the celica has more like a sport tune i guess you could say but that's that will soon change when i get the the aftermarket tune for this car um, hopefully hopefully soon um, but first is gonna be the PPE header so I I was driving the Celica a lot the Corolla stayed parked for like I don't know a good five months so it was just parked every now and then I would, I would try and wash it just so the paint wouldn't get messed up but I, I kind of grew it fell in love with the Celica I guess you could say grew into it I don't know how to I don't know how to say it exactly, but I just I just fell in love with it. I like the Celica. I, it's one of those, it's, you know, Toyota did get get the the thing right. It looks fast. It looks like a fast car, but it's really a slow car, dude. Like I, I don't care what all you people say. A stock 2ZZ is slow. I'm sorry. There, a stock 2ZZ is slow. It, it's just slow. It's you have it's quick, but it's slow, dude. Like I've driven a, a V6 MR2. That thing was quick. That thing was nice. That had a torque. Had a 1 MZ FE. That that was nice. And I'm I'm getting close to the 10 minute mark. I'm not gonna make this video that long. Uh, I guess it's already long. You hear me rambling. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys made it this far into the video, thank you guys for listening to what I had to say. And yeah, the the Celica was a means to, means of transportation for me during my downtime of my leg. And I was still going to school. I was going to school. Everyone was making fun of me. I, <laughs> I even had the Fred the Fish um, drawing on the on my leg cast. I'll put a picture right here. <laughs> I had Fred the Fish on my leg cast. My sister, Yvonne, drew that thing so perfectly. It, literally look like Fred. There was Fred. And I, I was putting um, a bunch of, I was letting my friends tag on my cast and it, it was just fun. It was, it was fun. I, it was a life experience uh, I probably don't want to live through again. <laughs> and yeah, that's how I ended up with the, with a automatic GTS. And for those, I mean, if I wanted to later down the road, if I really, really wanted to, I can actually do the swap. It's not that hard. I actually find C60s now at junkyards really easy. So it's not even like a it's not even like a rare thing to to not find a GTS um, at um, pick and pulls and stuff. So I can just get one. If not, I can probably get one for cheap um, somewhere. I could get one for cheap. I mean, 
I, I'm, I basically live at these junkyards. I can find like all the parts I need. If I ever really wanted to switch out to a manual, but obviously I'm probably not because I have this six speed and I love this six speed on the XRS. And I think I'm just gonna stick to that. I, I, I do have a, I do have engine plans for the Celica later down the road, but I'm still waiting for my um, Gretti front lip for the Celica. Um, little few um, in miscellaneous interior pieces. I'm supposed to go get the the suede, the passenger suede leather seat. Not leather seat. The suede seat from um, Rancho Cordova. Um, there's this one junkyard place out there that has it. I'm gonna end up paying um, premium for it, but it's all good. I have someone who's gonna want to buy my um, perforated um, GTS leather seat, so that's all good. I'm probably gonna make I'm probably gonna make um, some of my money back. But it's not gonna it's not gonna cost me an arm or a leg basically. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. So yeah. Uh, that's it folks. That's it. Um, I don't think I got nothing more to say. The GTS was a means of transportation for when I had a full leg cast. Okay? There, there's a story for it. Now all you can shut up about me choosing to buy an automatic GTS. Because it wasn't it wasn't my decision, it was my conditions decision, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, let's get hard pull right now. God, that sounds so good. That engine intake and that TRD muffler. Oh. Sorry about that. Um, I was doing a hard turn and my camera just slid all the way across the dashboard. Um, I gotta get a mount for that. I, I I gotta get a mount for that. Get make some more of these talk videos. Talk about stuff. Talk about a few things and it should it should, it should make the channel a little bit more interesting. Um, just other than install videos. So yeah. If you guys made it this far, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and... And I'll see you guys around.